everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made With Love. My name is Heather and today I'm going to do some painting projects. I haven't done any crafting yet this summer and I really, really want to get into it. Um, I got these little wooden cutouts here. I've got a little wooden bee and the little butter, oh, ladybug. I got these at a local thrift store for $2.25. They have got these different wood pieces ranging from $1.65 to $3.50, $3.75, somewhere in that range. So I got those two and then I also got the little skateboard and the wheels on here actually do move. So this one I don't have the price tag but I think this was like $2.65. It was under $3 for this one. And then like I said these little ones here were $2.25. So I'm just going to go outside and I'm just going to spray the ladybug red. And I'm going to spray the bumblebee yellow and then the black I'll just paint over top of what I want. But it's this little skateboard. Um, I've been wanting to do a, a project with, um, like people do stickers and things, but I really like to use, uh, let me get it here, the little temporary tattoos. So I've got this little llama like this and I have another llama. Mm. This, oops, this one, I hope I have it the right way. This one, I'm gonna, they actually will fit on the skateboard, so I'm gonna actually do it in this. So I'm gonna spray paint the skateboard uh, white, just to give it a nice coat, and then I'll paint the wheels um, a different color, but I'm just gonna go, it's kind of a overcast, rainy Sunday afternoon, so I'm just gonna get ready and go outside and spray paint these, so I'll be outside in just a few moments. Okay, so now I'm outside. So I just got this Rust-Oleum two times ultra cover paint and primer in flat white. The Rust-Oleum two times the ultra cover paint and primer. It's a gloss and golden sunset. And I have this Krylon Fusion. It's made for plastics and other things. And it's in the color of red pepper. So this is what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna do the red first for the ladybug. They'll work. Ah, the wind is just making my spray paint go everywhere. And I'm kind of getting this. This is not the best. This can is like empty. I know I'm getting a lot of overspray just because the wind just changed direction while I'm doing this. I, just, I hope it doesn't rain right this minute. I've just got some time to just quickly spray these and bring them into the garage. I should have put something down so I could get them into the garage easier, but I uh, thought of it too late. better and then just need the white for the skateboard See, just the wind is just taking my spray paint everywhere. I'm getting spray paint on everything with the white except on the skateboard. So I'm just gonna grab this because I can see the bee. I kind of missed this top part up here. There. I think now that I've stopped spray painting, I think the wind has kind of died down. But I'm going to give those a little bit of time to dry. I think one coat's all I'm going to really need because this is just for a 
like a decor project thing. So I'm just gonna let these dry and I'll be back in my craft room when I add the black. All right, so now they are dry and I'm back in my craft room. So this was two coats of the spray paint. I'm not worried about the back because I'm gonna actually put them on something because it's really rough. And this is gonna, you know, damage my walls. Well, I haven't decided how I'm gonna hang them anyways, but I wanna put something like a felt on the back. So even if I had them sitting down on the table or hanging on the wall, they're not gonna scratch. Same with the B. So I will do that later. I'll find my felt and just put a piece of felt on the back. But that is two coats of the spray paint on the bee and the ladybug. And I also did two coats fully on the skateboard here. I am going to paint the wheels black and I don't know what I'm going to do with the back side yet, but I'm just going to leave it the white for now. Uh, when I was flipping it over, I did drop it. So I don't know if you can see, but it's... And I had, so I had to give the top one here a third coat because when I, it wasn't quite, uh, dry and I just wanted to move it so the wheels wouldn't stick because I was trying to you know as I sprang I kind of got the wheels and I didn't want them to get stuck to the um, table thing I was using outside and I just went to ch lift it and of course when I lifted it going like this I flipped it and it went completely upside down and then it got this really interesting textured and it's kind of like a skateboard has uh, some of that grippy texture to it so I'm like well that just kind of you know, adds a little bit of character or dimension, whatever you want to call it, to the skateboard. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to set the skateboard, because I'm going to do the little um, water tattoo, you know, the tattoo here on the skateboard. So I kind of cut around it because I was just trying to figure out how big, it was hard to tell when it was, like, you know, when the tattoo's on here and you're trying to line it up and trying to see, well, where will it fit? You can't really see through the white, so I trimmed it down so I can kind of see where it's going to go. Now, obviously, it's a tattoo, so it's going to really go this way, but even with that kind of kind of gives me the shape so I kind of know where my placement is going to be. And then I don't want to have it quite centered. I want to have it down a little bit. I want it to write, you know, go llamas. And then right above the llama's head, I'm going to put in a little green plumb off. Uh, nobody knows what that is. That's the little green um, cube thing. Was it like a diamond thing that sits on top of your Sims characters when playing Sims? So that is what I'm going to do with that one. First, I'm just going to get these two um, <clears throat> painted. So I've got my, I'm going to start with the ladybug here. Just have this little makeshift table. It's a little tricky. I can't really do much. I've got my kitchen kitchen chair so it's the height of the chair to the table is not the greatest but okay and then I just have because I didn't know how big a, a paintbrush I think I just grabbed a handful of my little detailing mini paintbrushes I've got my little paint tray and then I grabbed this container with all my little acrylic paint so I'm just going to find black but not just that I want to find the one that's been open because I don't want to open all these two paint these tiny tubes of this acrylic paint uh, for four or five dollars. I don't know, their prices keep going up every time I go in. So I don't think I've actually used a black. So has this one been open? No, it's blue. Okay. I guess I, well, I guess I can test it. See, that one has not been opened. Because I'd hate to open one and already have one open, but I don't remember using too many of these colors. Although I think I did use my black and I probably used it completely up. Now you can tell there's two different, you know, the, they've kind of changed their packaging on these as well. This one is actually double sided. This one's the single side. So I don't know which is the newer ones or the older ones. And I said the price went up. 
but you know, I still for like, I think it's a pack of 24. They're, they're 12 mils each. So it's a pretty good size amount of paint for just a few dollars. Just when you want some better paint, I find like I would prefer like little tubes. I like to buy oil paint in, but I think it's just acrylic. And I do find that it works just as good as a little bit thicker. Some of my paintbrushes, you know, have been used and not cleaned properly. This one's got some glitter glue stuck into it, but I think I'll use this little one here. So I'm just going to paint the dots on the ladybug. Just like that. And then I'm going to paint in here too between the oops, just between the wings and I'm going to paint the little antenna things like that. So that's what I will be doing on the ladybug. And then for the bee, I'm going to be just painting in between like the two lower parts that are between the more raised parts. I'm going to paint those black and the little antenna black as well. So that is what I will be painting. So I will be back when I get all the black painted because I'm going to take me quite a few minutes to do this. And so I will be back. So I got the black done on these ones. I'm just going to set them aside to dry. Now this one here, I got a little bit of black where I didn't want it and I tried to wipe it off with a little bit of damp paper towel and I kind of smeared it a little bit. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm just gonna go over top of some of those marks where I don't want the black paint uh, with some yellow. So while those are drying, I'm now gonna do the tattoo onto the skateboard. So I'm gonna make sure to peel this plastic off. I cut it, it's tricky to find into the plastic. This is what happens when you take the tattoos and you cut them and just the plastic. Usually there is a spot to... Was that a sticker? I thought it was a tattoo. Wait, are these... It's a sticker, it's not a tattoo. Told me it was a tattoo. Okay, that makes, that changes it. That makes it so much easier. I thought it was a tattoo with the shiny backing, but no, I guess it is just a sticker. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my scissors. I'm just gonna cut some more of this white part off. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the sticker down. Get this backing to come off. little precision scissors right now so I'm just using my regular kitchen scissors it's a little tricky to get this trimmed around here So much easier if it's a sticker. Wish I would have known that sooner. It would have been 
so much easier, but like I said, it was in a little vending machine and it said tattoos. So I thought they were tattoos. And because I thought they were tattoos, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to peel off that bat, the protective thing, because it doesn't say anything. Nothing that says tattoos or stickers. So, okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to go grab my stencils. I realized I left those downstairs when I went to grab all the paint stuff. I will be just right back. Okay, I went looking. I can't find, I did find some of my stencils. I couldn't find the little mini stencil sheet that I was looking for, but I did find my little, little, little stamp letters and green and gold ink. And I got my little white thing here, whatever this is called to help, you know, lining up. And I grabbed a few markers. I need the green ones, but I just grabbed the whole drawer. It just makes it easier for me to, when I go to put everything back. So I've used these before and it looks like I didn't clean them, but I am going to use this back on just so I can flip it over just to see sizing. I think I like these size in here. So I'm going to use the, because there's a few different sizes of letters. I really like this one here. These are all falling off, I know. Rips apart. Okay. I'm going to put these in a little container. I have those little mini divider containers. These these would be perfect to put in it. I'm like I didn't know what to I would what to put in there. So I need to just go llamas. this way so I can see the letters and then I just got to grab my scissors again because I got to snip those apart okay so I got my pieces cut out and I've got my spelling go and then just lamb l-a-m because llama I need two l's and two a's so I'm just gonna do the first these three middle letters and then I can just move them over I remember doing this before, writing out Go Llamas on the one I did, the, the junk journal, that's what it was. I just got to do the rest of the letters. Let's move it to here. So that would go. Here, just as a placeholder, put this L here, and then I realized I need the S. I don't know if that's gonna work. I 
Let's see. Let's see. There. Let's go, llamas. Let's go once more. Bottom. Making sure I get my letters going the right direction. Oops. Put my G upside down. That was the right way. going to do a double thing. I was going to, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to draw my little plum bob thing above the llama. Just trying to shade it in. Some more detailing to that in a minute but there's my little skateboard and then I will paint the wheels but I'm gonna let all this dry first and then I will come back and paint the wheels black and then I think I'm just gonna go wash my hands with the ink and then I'm gonna do the touch-up of the yellow on the B the ladybug I don't need any touch-up of red it was really good and easier to do it was just the B, just trying to, the amount of black I needed, and just trying to hold it and twist it. And then, I, of course, I got paint on my hand, and then I just smeared it. So I'm just going to go do some touch-up of that. This will be a different shade of yellow. So. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I've done this couple times before and people are always amazed that you can that I do this I don't know where I learned this but I'm gonna get a go to the garage I'm just gonna spray paint a put a little bit of the spray paint in here to have the right color to touch that up so I'll be right back as soon as I get the little bit of spray paint okay so the paint in here is wet and while it's still wet I'm gonna use this brush because it's don't think I can reuse it for anything because the paint is still wet. You can actually get it in the paintbrush and do fine touch-ups. Like I said, I, I've been doing this for a long time with the spray paint and I don't know where I had seen that tip. If I read it somewhere. But you know, sometimes when you're doing spray paint and you just overspray somewhere, then they say you just take your spray paint and just put a little bit in a different container. And then just with a paintbrush, you can just paint it on. I know I had done some touch up on something else, and just a lot of people who were amazed that you could do that. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a little bit different because it's the black still might show up through there but I figure that's okay it's the wings and once it dries it should be you know really close to the right color if not I can always touch up at a later date or if I really or if it was really bugging me I could just Put tape over the black and just respray the whole thing. But I think I'll be fine with it. 
starting to look better. It kind of gives the wings a little bit of dimension too, with a little bit of shading kind of. Of course, the one thing is doing this with the spray paint, I have not been able to recover the paint brushes. So you have to put that in and not keep that in mind too. When just painting with the spray paint, it's hard to reuse the paint brushes after. Like, I mean, I guess you could if you really you know, soak them and probably like paint thinner or turpentine. I've never really, you know, would worry too much about my paint brushes. I just guess I buy mine at the dollar stores. I'm like, uh, I'm getting between six and 30 paint brushes for under five bucks. other people if you spend I know people if they were to go to like the big craft stores and spend money on really good paint brushes yeah this would be something you, using spray paint you don't want to use a really good expensive paint brush on there and that kind of just all touches that up and for me it's good enough I mean it's a little bit this one here I'd like to add a little bit more yellow to cover that but I'm just not going to work so I'm just gonna leave it because I'm worried if I play around too much, I'm gonna get paint somewhere else where I don't want it. But it looks good now. So I got my bee and my ladybug. They are done. They still need eyes, I guess, and a mouth, so I will get to that. I just actually do I have I did grab the so I'll just draw. I guess they just need eyes. I'm not good at drawing eyes or faces, so I usually don't. There. So I will just paint those in. And then I think it will be done. It's a little angry there. I will fix the eye, make it a little more round. Still not, <laughs> not very round. I'm not good at painting circles. paint dauber somewhere maybe I'll do that and just stamp on the little circles for their eyes that's just gonna bug me so I'll be right back I couldn't find it but I have this little paintbrush here now it doesn't have a solid um, but it's still round so I'm hoping maybe if I dip it in can get their eyes and then I can kind of yeah look so much better then I can just fill in those circles Are a little crooked. It's okay. It could just be, you know, my house hanging up on my wall or something.
Oh, they're a lot more round than they were a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna leave them like that or I'm gonna just wreck them. I do have a little, I don't know where it is right now. I don't think I have any white paint. Oh, this is white, okay. Maybe I will do that. Dot of white. And then this really fine little pink brush here. Actually, maybe I'll just use the tip of the paint brush and just give them little white spots on their eyes. That looks good. A little more white on this one. There. A little bit more on this one too. Sorry, I'm just, you know, didn't realize I was reaching out of the frame, but all I'm doing is just putting a little white dot on their eyes. There is my three projects they are done so it's just those little wooden cutout things now i said i still will go and i'll paint these wheels black i'm just not going to do it right now i just want the ink to dry i'm also going to spray this with something or i might just um actually because it's a sticker i think i'm just going to get some packing tape and put a piece of packing tape over top of this just to hold the sticker on here a little bit better but there are my three little wooden crafts okay. okay again i just want to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to my channel and watching my videos and i will see you in the next ones bye